Hello everyone, welcome in Crafting Wheels channel. Today I will show you how to make a crochet animal shoes and I hope to admire you. If you admire you, please could you subscribe and share and like that video. At first I will use Ankara classic yarn and hook number 3.5 millimeter. I will start round one. I will make a slip knot as shown now. Then make 17 chains. With that figure, and I will skip two chains from the hook and make three double crochet into third chain but I work into third loop of, of, of every chain as shown now I hope that obvious for you I will make three double crochet into third chain from the hook into third loop and continue making working sorry into every third loop of every chain I finished three double crochet into same stitch then I will make double crochet into next 13 chain across the row I work into third loop as shown now Now I arrive to the last chain, I will make 6 double crochet into last chain of the row as shown now into same place. That is last double crochet into that chain. Then I will turn round and make double crochet into every chain of next 13 stitches into the opposite side as shown now. Now I finished 13 double crochet, then I will make 3 double crochet into last stitch as shown now, into same stitch, that is second double crochet and that is third double crochet, into same stitch, then I will close with slip stitch to close round 1 as shown now. I will start round two. I will make two chains and make two double crochet into same stitch as shown now. Make 
the make two double crochet into next two stitches that is second double crochet into first stitch and that is two double crochet into next stitch into same place as shown now then I will make double crochet into next 13 stitches Now I finished 13 double crochet, then I arrive to the rounding stitches, so I will make 2 double crochet into next 6 stitches, I finished 2 double crochet into previous stitch and I will make 2 double crochet into that stitch, then continue making 2 double crochet into every stitch of 6 stitches as shown now. I will make two double crochet above rounding stitches. Now I finished eleven, twelve, sorry, twelve double crochet then I will make double crochet into every stitch of next 13 stitches as shown now I finished 13 double crochet then I will make two double crochet into every stitch of next three stitches as shown now that is two double crochet into that stitch and I will make two double crochet again into next stitch and the two double crochet into last stitch as shown now then I will close with leave stitch to finish round two I will start round 3, I will make a chain as shown now and make single crochet into same stitch then make 2 single crochet into next stitch and make single crochet into next stitch and make 2 single crochet into next stitch as shown now and make single crochet and make 2 single crochet into that stitch as shown now I hope that obvious for you then I will make single crochet into every stitch of next five stitch that is second that is third single crochet fourth single crochet and the fifth single crochet and I will make half double crochet into next four stitches one two half double crochet three four then I will make double crochet into next four stitches that's first stitch second stitch third stitch and fourth double crochet then make double crochet into next stitch as shown now and make two double crochet into the next into same space one that's two and make double crochet into that stitch and make two double crochet here into the next then make double crochet and make two double crochet into the next I repeat that six times I wrote that into the subtitles 
to be clear for you. Now I finished six times as shown now. Then I will make double crochet into next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and I will make half double crochet into next four stitches again that is one first half double crochet second half double crochet that is third half double crochet and that is fourth double crochet then I will make single crochet into next five stitches that is first single crochet, second, third, fourth, fifth, single crochet, then I will make single crochet into next stitch as shown now, and then make two single crochet into the next as shown now, then repeat making single crochet and the two single crochet into next and make single crochet again and make two single crochet into last stitch of the row then close with slip stitch to finish round three I finished that sole with that figure and I will cut our yarn and fasten off then I will make two soles then join together with a slip stitch as shown the, the measure of that sole is 14 centimeter I made two soles as shown now and I joined together with the slip stitches then I will make the body for that shoes I will start round one I will make 13 chains as shown now I made 13 chains then I will skip two chains from the hook and make single crochet into third chain but I will work into third loop of every stitch as shown now I continue making single crochet into next 12 chains but from third loops of every chain as shown now
I finished round one and I will start round two. I will make a chain and turn our work. Then make two single crochet into same stitch into that stitch. I made two single crochet here. Then I will make single crochet into next ten stitch. That is second single crochet and continue making single crochet into every stitch of next 10 stitches. Then I will make two single crochet into last stitch. That is first single crochet, and that is second single crochet into same stitch. I made two single crochet into last stitch of that row. Where is that figure? Then I will start round three. I will make a chain and turn our work and make single crochet into next 14 stitches as shown now. I will start round four. I will make a chain and turn our work as usual. Then make two single crochet into first stitch as shown now, and then make single crochet into every stitch of next twelve stitches. As shown now, until arrive to the last stitch, I will make two single crochet inside it into same place two single crochet and two last stitch of the row with that figure i finished round four as shown now then i will start round five i will make a chain and turn our work then make single crochet into next 16 stitches across that row with that figure I finished round five and I will start round six. I will make a chain and turn our work. Then make two single crochet into first stitch as shown now into same space, same place, sorry, and make single crochet into every stitch of next 14 stitches until arrive to the last stitch of that row I will make two single crochet inside it I arrived to the last stitch of that row so I will make two single crochet inside it into same space with the figure I finished round six and I will start round seven I will make chain and turn our work and make single crochet into every stitch across that row without increasing I finished round seven then I will start round eight I will make a chain and turn our work and make two single crochet into first stitch as shown now I make decrease then I will make single crochet into every stitch of next 16 stitches until arrive to the last stitch of the row I will make increasing that is the last stitch of the row I made two single crochet inside it I finished round eight then I will start round 
9 I will make a chain and turn our work as usual and make single crochet into every stitch across the row so I will make single crochet into every stitch of next 20 stitches I finished round 9 and I will start round 10 I make a chain and turn our work and make two single crochet into first stitch as shown now and make single crochet into next 18 stitches as shown now until arrive to the last stitch I will make an increasing I will make two single crochet inside it into same place as shown now I finished round 10 then I will start round 12 and round 11 I will make same process I will make a chain and turn our work and make single crochet into every stitch across that row and repeat that for round 11 with the chip I made round 12 and round 11 without any increasing I finished round 11 with the chip then I will start new round I will make two parts for right and left of that unit so I will make a chain and turn our work and make single crochet into next six stitches as shown now that is six single crochet with that figure then I will repeat that round until arrive to round 14 I will make chain and turn our work and make single crochet into every stitch across that row so I will make single crochet into next six stitches as shown now I will repeat same process for 14 round as shown now and repeat same thing for another side now I finished 14 round with that figure then I will cut our yarn and join the yarn with other side with the left side and repeat same process so I will make 14 rounds with same process single crochet stitches Now I finished two parts with the chip. I finished 14 rounds for every side. Then I will bend two parts and sew together with a slip stitch. As shown now, I bend two parts and I will join them with sleeve stitches as shown now into every stitch to join two sides together
Now I finished joining two parts together with slip stitches. Then I will make a chain. As shown now. And make single crochet into next 12 stitches. I will working above that edge of that unit. I will continue making single crochet into every stitch around all sheep as shown now I will make single crochet into every stitch across that round and around all around all the unit then close with slip stitch to finish that round I hope that obvious for you. If you if if you have any question, sorry, if you have any question, don't stay to ask me, and I will reply you immediately. Now I finished that unit with that figure. Then I will join that unit with the sole with a tapestry needle as shown now. I will join the needle with the sole and with the unit. We finished it. I'm drawing together with that tapestry needle. I will join together all around the sole with a tapestry needle. With that shape, I will continue drawing them together with a tapestry string either, with the same process. Now I finished joining two parts together as shown now. Then I will grab a green yarn and I will join the green yarn with our putty. And make single crochet into every stitch around the hole of the shoes. single crochet into every stitch around that hole
And then I will close with a slip stitch as usual. Now I finished that round and closed the sleeve stitch. Then I will continue new round. I will make sleeve stitch into every stitch across the row around the hole. Single sleeve stitch, sorry, sleeve stitch into every stitch across the row. Then cut our yarn and fasten off. I finished that round with that figure. Then it change color to peach and they make a magic ring as shown now. They make six single crochet stitches inside it. That's first single crochet, second single crochet, and that is third single crochet, fourth single crochet. And that is fifth single crochet inside the ring. That is the last single crochet. And then I will close the mosaic ring. And close with slave stitch to close the ring. As shown now, then I will make a chain and make two single crochet into next six stitches, two single crochet into every stitch of next six stitches. Across that row. I will make two single crochet into every stitch across that row. Then close with slip stitch to close that round. Then I will change color to green as shown now and make single crochet into every stitch across that row with a green color. Then close with sleeve stitch to close that row as usual.
now I finish the crown with the trigger and I will cut and fasten off our yarn to have that figure and I will make another unit with same process I finished two units with the figure then I will get a white color yarn and I will make a magic ring again Then I will make three chains as shown now and make five double crochet together inside that ring as shown now. I finished making five double crochet together inside the ring and make three chains again. Then close with a flip stitch into the ring with the figure. And repeat that unit again so i will make three chains again and make five double crochet together inside the ring with the figure that unit is the mustache for the putty Then I will close the magic ring. I will grab the yarn as shown now and untie the yarn. Then I will make a chain and cut our yarn and fasten off with the figure. Then I finished that with toy our yarn and the tie two yarns together as shown now and wrap them. Now I finished that unit. Then I will have a tapestry needle. And with a green color I will sew the yarn with the booty with that shape I made three lines as shown now and I will make another line horizontal and 
and continue to decorate the booty with that shape. Then I will join the mustache with the booty with the shape and continue decorating the booty the face of the booty of an animal Now I finished the face of an animal for that baby booty and I hope to admire you. If you admire you, please could you subscribe and share and like that video. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me and I will reply you immediately. Thanks for watching.